What the f is up YouTube? Today we're meant to be delivering this to its winner, but instead I'm going to crash it into a tree at 100 miles an hour. Of course, I'm joking. Sorry, I've just been seeing this guy on TikTok do that sort of thing, and I you know, just felt like it might be quite fun to say it, which it was. What the f is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be dropping out of college and seeing if I can make a living in my. Anyway, welcome to the 7 Series for the very last time this time because right now I'm going to deliver this car to Ryan, the winner from the Hero Competitions competition. He uh, won this car a couple of weeks ago. Um, things have actually been complicated over the last few weeks. I've had COVID and also I've just got home today and noticed that the fence all along the side of my house has been blown down. So we're running a bit late because we've just been sorting that out. But nonetheless, that's what we're doing today. It's meant to be a really exciting day. I've got the original exhaust system, half of it in the back of the car there, tried to wrap it up so the seats don't get damaged, and the other half in the boot, so that, well, Ryan has the stock system uh, for if he wants to switch it around. Anyway, this will be the very last time then we start the car up, so without further ado. Happy days. I've filled the tank up so that Ryan can actually drive the car when he gets it and we've got about one hour and 20 minutes to run to Ryan now. So very fortunate really, because the car could have been delivered anywhere in the UK mainland. So only an hour and 20 minutes away, which makes things relatively straightforward. Although, like I say, it's been a bit of a nightmare over the last few days, but we move. So hopefully what we'll do then, get the car over there nice and safely on this gorgeous, gorgeous day and uh, meet Ryan, show him around the car. And that'll be the end of this car as you know it for now. So. Yeah, stay tuned everyone. Subscribe if you're one of my 75% of viewers that are not already, and enjoy. So incredibly, the sun has come out as we're about to arrive at Ryan's house. I'm sort of nervous, but I'm just really, really excited to, to meet Ryan. Uh, I've spoken to him on the phone a couple of times. He seems like a really, really nice guy, and I'm super happy that I get to give the car to him. Just by the way, if you hadn't, because um, I guess I hadn't really posted an update on YouTube in terms of the competition, is it was all sort of on Instagram, um, everything going on with that. So go over to Instagram now, and you can watch the video of the live stream of when Ryan was announced as the winner. That is posted on my page there. So I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go and follow me on Instagram and see that sort of stuff now, but also in the future. Anyway, yeah, four minutes away and um, this is it. I mean, this will be, unless I end up buying it back off Ryan or in the future at a later date, who knows, never say never. This will be the last time I drive the 7 Series, literally the last time. And uh, it's bittersweet, but look, as I've said in previous videos, the memories I've got with this car are irreplaceable. Selling the car is not gonna get rid of those. And it's time for a change. I fancy something like a Bentley Continental Flying Spur to replace this. Perhaps a Maserati Quattroporte. Who knows, maybe I'll end up buying JM's Maserati Quattroporte. This, of course, was his 7 Series before I bought it. So, never say never, but basically, the end of this car does not mean the end of some crazy, crazy cars on the channel, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now because we're about to pull up at Ryan's house. I'm gonna knock on his door, give him the keys to this straight piped V12 7 Series. Let's first just give his neighbors a little bit of a taste of what's to come. He's gonna be a very, very popular man. <laughs> Okay, we're here. Let's go, ring the bell, and uh, give the keys, and where are they? In my pocket, to Ryan. Car was clean, it's now absolutely filthy thanks to the M40. Anyway, let's go, let's do it. <laughs> hey buddy, how's it going? Yeah, good. Oh man, it's uh, here. It's Got sweet. the camera on, I hope that's okay. Yeah, that's and, cool. And uh, yeah, the 7 Series is here. Excellent. And uh, 
I don't think I've told the viewers, but there's also a Z4 on the drive because you have a Z4, which is pretty cool. Yep, yeah, yeah, inspired by you. So your garage is now sort of going to be what mine was a yes. little bit of time ago almost. Yeah, with exactly. the 7 Series. It's like I'm living in your shadow. It's one step behind. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the car. I guess, I think, you know, you've seen yep, a few yep, of the videos lots of, with lots it. Yep, seen lots of videos. Um, it's very noisy. It's um, very comfortable. And it's very rare. So, yeah, I guess I can just show you around a little bit, sign some paperwork, yeah. and then I'll, you know, get out your hair and take it away. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it was actually a fantastic surprise because it was. Uh, I got the call the day before my birthday. So this was kind of... Yes. Like this, a little bit of a birthday present to myself. So uh, yeah, and I'm buzzing. It's really cool. It's like, fantastic. Oh, it actually, I actually prefer it in the flesh. You don't, like, so you don't see too many around, so it's it's, it's cool to see it. So, yeah. 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 Anyway, so let me just show you a couple of things quickly because, of course, um, <clears throat> the exhaust, the, the car is straight pipe. So the from the cat's back, it's basically straight through. So mm -hmm. these are your rear back boxes. And then there's also another section if we go around this side in the back, which uh, in that wrapping there is the sort of two pipes Got you. from the, I think there's a couple of resonators on those. Yeah. Couldn't really give you the car without them, I don't think. <laughs> and I think you might, you might want them, especially. Saying that our neighbour had a TVR and that was pretty damn loud. So yeah, it'd be quite, are, it'd be, and then someone with a motorbike let's come down here. So it'd be a bit of a competition, I think. Now. It'd be a bit of competition. Different, different tones. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best one for sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, as you know, it's got sort of all of the things that you've seen on the videos, I suppose. You know, you've got the TV in the back, got the blinds. Um, it's obviously a six litre V12. Maybe I'll show you that actually. That's quite, quite a sight to see. So that's what a <sighs> six litre V12 looks like. Couldn't fit much more underneath there, could you? Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Yeah, 440 odd horsepower, I think, about the same in, in torque. It does really shove up the road, actually. I mean, compared to the Z4, is yours the three litre? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it feels much faster than that. Really? And it, it is on paper actually faster than that, but it's you know, it's cool. It's an amazing mile muncher, and uh, see, I've taken it to Germany and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, so no, I've seen. You're going to love it. You don't need me to, to tell you how great it is because it's yours. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, That's a bit surreal. Yeah. Would you like to hear it from the so. outside? I think so, yeah. No, I don't yeah. want to upset anyone, but um, if we just give it a couple of little there's, blips. There's not many small children around. So not many small children right. around. Yeah, okay. So. I'm going to start it and um, mm. give it a few blips and you get a little idea of what it sounds like. Okay. And then if I give it a couple of little blips. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's quite loud. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that is loud. So yeah. you can you can drive it, you know, quietly yeah. and it sort of just burbles along. But yeah, as soon as you get into the RPMs a bit it does go uh, up. So um yeah. Cool. Puts a smile on my face. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I bet, yeah. Cool. So obviously that's why the exhaust is in the car for yeah, you yeah. as well. Because uh, you might want to change it, but yeah, certainly. I don't, I don't know if my wife will uh, tolerate <laughs> that. She was going to use this, right? Yeah. You said on the phone she, she might likes to it. drive autos. Yeah, so. yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't think she'll like that. She complained the Z4s with that, and now she's got a standard resource on, so she says this is going to blow her mind. Yeah. Well, I better <laughs> switch it off quickly then. <laughs> Maybe we can go for a little, take me for a spin around it quickly around the block or something. Just Absolutely. So that would be probably a yeah. bit of a laugh. Let's do that. Yeah. Cool. Driving position's all right. I don't think I don't, I don't. You know, I'm not usually a saloon driver. That's why I got rid of the the, um, the Julia Veloce, which is weird. It was like you got rid of a brand new car and you kept the 18 year old one. But it's, <laughs> there's no logic behind that, so especially when you've got two kids. First interesting thing is the seat controls in here are not where you'd expect. They're in the oh. middle. So okay. And you have so if if yeah, the start button give you all the electronics. I think. Yeah. Um, so I just have to press the brake. To start the engine, yeah. Um, there you go. So yeah, you've got all your seat controls in the middle, heated seats, these ones are cooled and massaged in the front. Yeah. And um, you've got heated and cooled in the rear as well. Oh wow, the roof liner is good, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous, yeah. It's, not, <laughs> it's, it's honestly amazing, it's not sagging anywhere. Yeah. The stitching, I just always look sort of up by your head actually, is where it's just so Yeah, I was, I was thinking that, that's quite, um, when I saw it. It's a little bit of a straight there, I'm not going to get it. Well, you can do what you like, it's your car. <laughs> do you know the steering's actually quite nice in this? This that took me by surprise. I, I, oh yeah. I don't know what to expect, but um, it feels alright. Big wheel. 
It's a big wheel. Yeah. It is, yeah. It takes... It's, it's, it's different to anything I've ever had before, obviously. It's, yeah. it, it's interesting, but it does lend itself to sort of long cruises. It's so smooth. Oh, it's, the, it's so smooth. It's really, it's really smooth. smooth yeah. yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous. I mean, that, that is, I think, the V12. I mean, you just don't. <laughs> I can't. It's just. It's just. Um, actually, I know I was going to short drive, but we'll just go up the road a bit. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> he loves just, it. Just, just to get a feel. Absolutely. I can see about what you say about the surge. You said it's so, it's so smooth. It, it makes like the Z4 feel almost really raw, ridiculously raw. Does that make sense? It does, it really does, which I think is awesome because it actually will make you appreciate the Z4 a little bit more as well yeah. for what that is. Uh, it certainly did for me and now my Boxster is the sort of uh, the equivalent. Um, but I can tell you on camera and publicly that that surge of power, it, it does it all the way up to 160 because yeah. I obviously did it legally in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's quite remarkable, yeah. Is that, um, is that hit then it hits the restrictor? The restrictor, I think on paper is 155, but it went up to about 162 okay. indicated, so it probably is 155 actually. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I imagine it goes. I think unrestricted, I've read someone did it in the States and it would do 190, which yeah, I can that, imagine because I think at 160 it was only about four and a half, five thousand 5,000 RPM. Uh, that was kind of a figure I imagine, especially because it's a bit of a block, so it's not the most aerodynamic of, no. of, uh, of, you know, of cars. But 190 in this, imagine that. <laughs> but I mean as an experience you know it's just it's a funny thing because you're in a big barge but it, it does shove you along and it sounds exactly and you know I may never drive a car with it into this big ever again well exactly I mean you know, either you, you know, know it might it, it, you know these are a dying breed I know like um, like in, in car industry there's rumours like in the short term that they're going to go back towards naturally aspirated larger engines because they now think they're more economical which yeah. is, it's what Mazda was saying for ages and that's why they did downsize the MX-5 engine um, it, it, do you know what it's because it's fast and smooth it's like uh, you just it's just quite a surreal thing it's uh, oh God, I sound like a hippie but it's like <laughs> Like a magic carpet ride? No, I mean, <laughs> to be honest with you, Ryan, I, I, I could never really describe it, and I'd say things like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's almost like being in a high speed train or something. Yeah, the way I, I, it, just... it just surges and it's so smooth. It's like a, a rugby player wearing ballet shoes or something, I think. That's a really nice way of describing <laughs> it. You know, I think you would be, uh, you said off camera, you always thought about doing a YouTube channel. I think, uh, and this is almost like your first video, really. It could, yeah. <laughs> Camera's yeah. on you. I'm glad it, it seems that you uh, like it. Yeah, no, I do like it. <laughs> All my friends were joking, like, you can come in an Uber driver now, or, uh, <laughs> or you're going to be like, um, if you're going to look like a gangster, or you're going to look like a businessman. We're, we're trying to work out which one. Yeah, Pablo Escobar or an Uber driver is one of the two, <laughs> isn't it? Exactly. There you go, and then, yeah, so just hit P, P. on the gear and yeah. P on the parking brake as well. Oh, so. you can open the boot from there. There's a boot thing there, yeah. Steering controls. Yeah, wow. and uh, what else? I mean, you'll work it all out. Watch my videos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, I'm sure. It... But uh, if you have any real problems, just give me a call as well. I'd be more than happy to chat you through some bits. Yeah. But it sounds like you're pretty versed anyway in the world of cars. So I think yeah, you'll uh, be great. Yeah. I would say let's sit in the back and I'll show you around there. But there's an exhaust pipe stretching across the seats at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so much legroom. Yeah, and obviously you can move the seats all the way forwards so um, this in the middle here is where all the seat controls yep. are so that'll go all the way down normally yep. and then so things you can do like on this side this is sort of the executive side I suppose so this button here if you press that and then um, is it that one might not work without the power on actually but you can basically manipulate that seat from the rear yeah um, whilst yeah, you're sitting here. Exactly. And then you've got sort of an iDrive wheel for the screen there. You've got a fridge. You've got the blind controls on the sides. Mm -hmm. um, and lots of other oh, individual air conditioning units. And the list goes on, really. So one of my favourite things, actually, while we're looking in the back, if you come uh, here, 
it's just this wooden, just this huge wooden sort of oh, wow, yeah. panel along. It's just gorgeous, I think. It's a nice touch, isn't it? It's like a big bit of wood, isn't it? It's, it's huge. Like, uh, and you can see the individual sort of grain yeah, in it. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking of the pattern. All right, so there you are. Now you've got your Z4 and your 7 Series V12. I can't quite believe it, but <laughs> we've just done all the paperwork. The car is, well, it's yours. Yeah. And that's it. I think I'll uh, want to get some bits and pieces sorted and we'll go for a spin, I think. Yeah, and, as soon uh, as it's tax and whatever. Yeah, go and annoy some people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, goodbye 7 Series. It's been emotional. But yeah, super happy it's gone to you, Ryan, and uh, I really hope you enjoy it. So. <laughs> As I just said, let's catch up in a few months, see how it's all going. And yeah, um, yeah. right, it's really raining now, so I'll let you go <laughs> back in your house. See ya. Uh, yeah, well, great to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Well, that is surreal. Um, that was really nice to meet Ryan, actually. Really, really nice guy. Obviously a little bit of a petrol head and a viewer of the channel, which is just basically more than I could have asked for. Obviously condolences for those of you that didn't win, because it's, it's kind of bittersweet, isn't it? Because someone wins and it's the most amazing thing ever, but. 99.9% .9 of you don't win and it really sucks. So thank you all for uh, buying tickets for the car. And um, yeah, that was really fun. By the way, you guys want to see Katie more on the channel. There she is. Oh, hello. Cool. Uh, there's Katie. <laughs> so in one sense, it's super sad that that is it. The yeah, 7 Series is gone. I can't quite believe it, but really happy about where it's gone. And in a way, it's a bit of relief to have one less car on the drive now because it does free up space for something else. So I uh, hope this video has been okay. Apologies, it's been a little bit rough and ready, but I wanted to capture as much of that as possible for you because it's such a surreal experience and hopefully something I get to do again, actually. That was really fun, um, giving a car away to one of you guys. So big drive back down to the house now. And um, yeah, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all very, very soon.